Representative Green, can you tell us why you're here today? I'll, I'll talk to you afterwards. Okay. Thank you. Do you have a statement for us today? Uh, uh, what I'd like to say is that um, I'm uh, and kind of glad to have this behind me, and uh, it's been a difficult process. Um, and I look forward to the future. And um, you know, as we look forward to uh, uh, just a change in scenery for me, and optimism about that. And uh, I uh, can't speak about the specifics of the matters directly, other than those that relate to me, that my attorney will speak to. But other than that, that's uh, that's the only comments I have. Does this involve the 23 words that were added into the, part, the budget? Part, part of the agreement, and it'll be a part of the record that you can get, we entered into a written factual agreement. Um, Greg has been cooperative the entire time during this investigation. Th those of you who know that have been following, he's, he's been to the grand jury in Lee County. He's obviously... Um, we had a, a relationship, worked with the investigators and the uh, attorneys in the Attorney General's office in this. And I want to point out that today, to move on with Greg's life, this is a misdemeanor. Right. We're in, we're in this court, we're in district court in Montgomery County. This is Greg's home county. And so this is a, a misdemeanor uh, under the ethics law. And he was not fined anything. He was, um, he has a, you heard the judge, he has a, a 12 month suspended sentence. So there's no time served. And he's agreed to resign from the legislature. Greg wasn't running for reelection anyway. Did and so he's, this is something that he's going to do. And part of the agreement, I'm gonna ask you not to talk to me because you heard the agreement today. He's, he's agreed to cooperate and so if if there's a misstatement, it'll come from his lawyer. It won't come from him. So, so that's why we're not being rude to you. I'm just, uh, this, that's part of our agreement with the state. So uh, what, what we have here in this, this agreement, had, it had to do with things. It's a misdemeanor because it wasn't an intentional violation. There was information and facts that Greg was not aware of at the time some action had been taken on some legislation that he did not know. He did not know uh, who had a financial interest. The $24,000 restitution is not anything that came from the state of Alabama. Greg has agreed to pay back all the monies he was paid by a company for which he had a consulting agreement. Everything was reported on his taxes. Everything is reported on any, anything he had to report. He had a contract with this company that was in writing and they paid him in checks uh, and and over the whole course of his uh, representation of this company which is now defunct it was a company called rx ally and rx ally to greg's knowledge had no involvement in the state of alabama at the time are they not a part were they a part of the american pharmaceutical cooperative inc no they were not now, what we have learned, and Greg didn't know at the time, is that some people that were associated with American Pharmaceutical or whatever that's called, the Alabama Pharmaceutical Co-op, had an interest in RX Ally, which Greg knew as a Virginia company. So it's something that, you know, he, you say, Representative Wren, you should have known this, but he didn't know. Did Mike Hubbard ask you to put that language into the well budget. that's something he can't talk specifically about if, if there are other cases that are involved in this pharmaceutical situation would mr wren testify for prosecution? we're going to do whatever he's going to tell the truth he's going to do at, at the request in his agreement you, that you can see at any reasonable notice he'll be available to them and the other thing is he's agreed not to speak about this uh so that's that's why he feels a little awkward, but you know, but, but that's that's something that that we've negotiated with the attorney general's office. It is a probationary period, as the judge said, he doesn't expect him to violate any laws, 
he is it's a suspended sentence for 12 months there's no fine there's a the the restitution to the state not from state money but from Greg's agreed to pay back all the money he had in his consulting agreement the entire time he had with this company. And so that's just uh, what he's done. And, he's, and he resigned, voluntarily resigned before this hearing, this morning, as y'all probably heard, he, he did that um, this morning. Was that Thank, Thank you. you.